except you are not a child of God, but if you were, oh, be happy. Because you have God that is absolutely dependable. You have God that does not fail his own. You have God that goes out of the way to take care of you. The scripture says he rides the heavens to help you. Whatever happens to you, wherever it happens, God is always available for you. Today we are going to read Psalm 56 from verse 3 to verse 6. Psalm 56, 3 to 6. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? All day they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather together, they hide, they mark my steps when they lie in wait for my life. You know the natural inclination of man when trouble comes? Fear. That's the normal reaction of a human being. Fear. But you know what the scripture says? Fear not. I have to so enthrone God in my consciousness. My faith in God has to be such, has to be in such a state that at all times I know that God is for me. That's God in my consciousness. My faith in God has to be in such a state that at all times I know that God is for me. That's when I won't fear what man does. Yes, the trouble has come. So, is that the reason for fear? If anything, the arrival of trouble is the moment of realizing who you are. Trouble has arrived. I am a child of God. Disaster has struck, I am a child of God. And all things work together for my good because I love God. Who loves God? The one that obeys him. When I can come to such conclusions, then I will have to think again, do I obey God? Do I learn to live my life unto God at all times? Do I make mistakes? Yes, I do. But do I dwell in the mistakes? No. Am I able to stop my mistakes? No. But if I depend on the Holy Spirit, he will lead me through. I make the mistakes, but I'm dependent on the Holy Spirit. Even when the Holy Spirit shows the way, we still make mistakes. But does God destroy you because of the mistake you made? He sees your heart. Is your heart loyal to him, even in your errors? Because that is a person who will not be afraid. He knows that God is for him. God is with him at all times, no matter what he faces. He has just run headlong into the biggest disaster that anybody can imagine, but he will come out. He's not afraid of that situation. What can you do to him? His God is by him. And that's where the evil man fell. Oh, he made a mistake. I know I can get him. You can't get him. Except he is such a person that justifies his errors and mistakes. But if he is the one with a broken spirit and a contrite heart, he will come out clean. What am I saying? We are human beings. We are prone to all manner of errors. But don't let your error put you down. Wake up from there. Learn to live righteously. I made a mistake today. I shouldn't make the same mistake tomorrow. I should learn to improve from there. And as I go step by step, inch by inch, things will get better. God protects me. So that I get to that point of God saying, fear not. I don't fear anything. I know that whatever is coming against me is smaller, so far infinitesimal. When you are comparing whatever is coming against me to the power of God that is with me. If God is behind me, if God has my back, whatever you are throwing at me is useless. Because before the thing gets to me, he has wiped it off. Will disaster strike? Yes, but... It will work out for my good. That's where I have no reason to fear. And what can man do? Come up with falsehood, twist your words, have evil thoughts about you, gather together and check your steps, see how they can make you falter. You walk in an office, everybody's looking for how you could fail. You do a business, the next person, the very next person, even the one that you confide in, is looking for how to bring you down. Even your so-called business partner, sometimes the one that you call prayer partner, they're all working together to see how they can destroy you. But when the chips are down, 
If you depend on God, God takes care of you. God does not abandon his own. And it will not start from you to start abandoning his own. God cannot abandon you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. That's the word that he has given. And there is no need to think that that can happen. If you depend on him, he will always be with you. The moment you start to fear, there is something that you are doing that you might not understand. You are placing that thing that you fear or that person that you fear on top of God. Because what are you really declaring? My God is not able to take care of me, so I have to be afraid of you. If your God were able to take care of you, will you be afraid of that thing? Will you be afraid of that man or that circumstance? You will not. That's why I said, what can flesh do to me? What can man do to me? Why should I fear him? Yes, he's marking my steps, digging every pit for me to fall into. When he has finished bit digging his pit, eventually he will fall into it. The scripture says the, um, the wicked man digs a pit for the righteous, but he falls into it, not the righteous, because God knows how to take the righteous out of trouble and let the wicked man enter into his trouble. Would you like to depend on God? Would you yield yourself completely to God? Then realize that he will take care of you. Remember that word that he spoke, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And he never does. And may you live such a life that that word of God comes to pass in your life, not for one moment, but every moment of your life in this world. In Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.